Hello ladies and welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five spring outfits that I put together from Aritzia here in Boston with the help of a young lady that I'm going to be sharing with you in the end of this video. So be sure to watch the video to the very end. And I'm also going to be taking you along with me here in Boston for a little city tour of the waterfront, which is absolutely beautiful. Boston is one of my favorite cities to travel to here in the United States. And my husband is actually from New England. So it's going to be a beautiful little stroll that I'm going to take you on along with me in this video. So be sure to watch the video to the very end. So before we dive into the rest of the video, I want to share with you my anniversary gift that my husband got me. And oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I own this. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, ladies, are you ready to see my anniversary gift? Okay, you're ready. So here it is. Those of you who know Hermes, you know. And so this was a bit of a splurge, but my husband said it is anniversary, Mother's Day, and birthday all wrapped in one. So I am super excited to show this to you. Now, of course, I have already opened it and I had to be fitted in the store here in Boston for the item I'm going to share with you. But if you know Hermes, then you know the exceptional quality of their products. Now, if you're not familiar with Hermes, Hermes is a luxury French high quality designer house in Paris that was founded in 1837. And at some of the stores, you have to book an appointment to go in to see some of their products. Fortunately, at the location here in Boston, I did not have to make an appointment, so my husband and I were able to walk right in to Hermes and take a look around. So let me show you what I got. And the packaging, ladies, with Hermes is exceptional. I can't believe it was so beautifully wrapped for me in the store by the agent that we dealt with, but it is just beautiful. So let me show you, I have wanted one of these for a very long time. So I'm going to do sort of a little unboxing again right here with you ladies, but it's just beautiful. And even the ribbon, I'm gonna save this ribbon. The ribbon says Hermes Paris. So I may use this as a ribbon for my ponytail or something when I'm wearing something that will go with this dark brown, which actually I have something in the latter part of this video that I'm going to be styling up that I could wear this Hermes ribbon with. But here she is. So let's open up. And the box also has the beautiful Hermes Paris right there. But, okay. Now the buckle comes in this little pouch right here. I have already put it together. I had the agent in the store to actually put the belt together for me and they also fitted me in the store for the belt. But this is what the buckle goes in if you want to take it off the belt so it can be protected when you're not using the belt. But here she is. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at it, ladies. My first Hermes belt. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. And this buckle right here actually will come off. They had different buckles in there that you can choose for the belts, but this is one that will come off and you can put it into the pouch to protect it. But that's the Hermes symbol. Now to assemble it, you simply pop it back in here and just click it like that in the back so it's taut. And then when you're wearing the belt, you just put it in here. But I love this color and it actually would go with the dress that I'm wearing now. And I did not have 
a skinny belt, especially one of this quality. Again, this was a huge splurge. And I actually had, which we're going back today again, the belt has a lifetime warranty. We are going back today to get another hole put in the belt. I've already had one hole put in yesterday. I'm going back to get another hole because my waist is super small. And when I am wearing a dress like this or a shirt dress, I like for the, the belt to fit a little taut so that it cinches in the material around my waistline. But this is her and I absolutely love it. Love the color, love everything about this belt and I think it's gorgeous. And then they also put in here a pouch that you can keep the leather in to protect it. Um, what was really cool also is that they have an Hermes store also in Atlanta at, uh, I believe, Phipps Plaza, and you can have the belt serviced. If you need the buckle polished up or anything like that, they'll do that for you for free in the store. If you need any holes put in it or anything that the belt needs servicing, you can have it done at the store. So. This was my anniversary gift and I absolutely love it. So for those of you who are new here and I see that I have a lot of new subscribers on my channel, thank you so much for joining my community of women who are becoming more elegant and graceful. And for my OG subscribers, welcome and welcome back. Also, for those of you who are just landing on my channel for the first time, my name is Teresa, and this channel is all about leveling up and becoming more elegant and more graceful. So if you're interested in that, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And also, ladies, if you enjoyed watching this video, before you leave, please hit that like button as that tells me what type of videos you guys enjoy watching. So without further ado, Let's jump straight into this video. So now let me show you what I'm wearing today. Of course, it is cold here in New England. So this outfit is styled simply for purposes of this video. If I were going to wear this out here in New England today, I would definitely pair it with some boots and a sweater on top. And what would look really beautiful with this dress is also a white sweater draped over the shoulders. So let me show you the full look of this outfit of the day. So what I'm wearing today is this dark green maxi length linen dress. And oh my goodness, I love this dress. I paired it with these sandals that I got also from Zara yesterday and I love the color. I think the sandals match perfectly with the color of this dress. I love how the dress just centers you in at the waistline. And then my normal jewelry stack of my gold necklace and my matching pearl and gold bracelet. But the silhouette of this dress is absolutely stunning. And you guys know me, I love a dress that has pockets in the front. And I just think that the silhouette of this is really beautiful. It looks very sophisticated, very classy, and very elegant. Really love how this outfit came together. And you guys can just tell how much I love this dress. And I wanted to kind of give you just a closer look at the details in the front of this dress, but the pockets are nice and wide, and it has a really beautiful belt that goes along with it. So I just love this dress, and I'm looking forward to wearing it a lot this spring. The next thing I want to share with you are the five spring outfits that I tried on in Aritzia in Copley Place Mall here in Boston. So let's dive right in. So the first outfit I tried on are these chocolate brown cargo pants. They have ties at the ankle, which I really love. I paired them with this double pocketed button down linen top. And I think this is a beautiful outfit. It's great for tra travel. It is classy. 
yet it looks very elegant. Next up are these cream colored cropped pants. I love this outfit. I really love the top. It is in the chocolate brown, but it's cropped at the waistline. The pants are high-waisted, and I just really think this is a lovely outfit. It's very classy and sophisticated, and can be paired with either some heels or some sandals, but I just really love how this look came together. Next up, I tried on some high-waisted linen shorts with the same cropped top, and I can't remember what the material is on this top but it was sort of a stretchy material but I really love the high-waisted uh, shorts and I just think this is a great outfit for the spring and by the way my husband liked this one on me as well Now, next up, I'm going a little bit conservative with this shirt dress, but I really do love shirt dresses. And now this is probably, to me, the most elegant look of them all. This, this is very classy, very sophisticated, and also very me. My husband did not like this dress and we did not end up getting it but I still think it's sophisticated and very classy. Now, this is an outfit for the gym. Of course, it is a little bit warmer in Atlanta where I live, but we're in New England at the moment. But this is a hoodie, I believe, paired with some shorts. No, it's not a hoodie. This is just a sweatshirt paired with some shorts, but I really did like how they looked on me. And it has a zipper in the front of the sweatshirt. And so this is an outfit that I would go jogging in and I just liked it. And this is the lovely Bridget. And she works in Aritzia in Copley Place Mall here in Boston. So if you're in the area, please make sure you stop by Aritzia and ask for Bridget. The next thing I want to do is take you ladies along on my trip here in Boston and I want to begin with the packing of my suitcase and show you my new travel bag. So let's take a look. Hey ladies, so I am getting myself ready for our upcoming trip to Boston and what I'm taking with me is this away luggage right here. And then this is my new travel bag by Vice. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but they are really, really nice and spacious travel bags. They also come with a bottom section that can hold your shoes or whatever you want to put in the bag. And this zips on top of the bag and you zip it on like so. And your shoes actually fit in the bottom like that. And this is the bag. But right now I've just got it unzipped because I need to figure out what actually I want to put in this. You don't have to even take this part with you if you don't need the shoe cart because the bag itself is pretty wide. It also has the valet handle right here. For you to slip over your luggage and when you're not using that what's really cool about this bag is when you're not using the valet handle you can just actually zip it up and it can serve as an extra pocket for anything you might want to slide in there your passport or whatever if you need to grab it right away but the bag is really really spacious i actually discovered this bag from another influencer on youtube and inside it, of course, I'm not done packing, but this is my bag I'm going to be taking to New England. It's in, it's an Italian leather purse that I love this white color, or maybe it's off-white with the gold 
detailing but inside it I want to show you it has this little it has a hook for you to hook on your keys which you won't lose them so this can just stay down off in the back like that it has two pockets right here I know you guys aren't interested in seeing what I take with me but if you are let me know and I'll do a what's in my travel bag video but then it has a big zipper pocket right here for you to put things in also has another pocket here and I've got my leather gloves in here so far because it is going to be cold in New England so I'm going to be taking my leather gloves but it is so spacious you guys this bag is huge in terms of what you can put into it and I think it's also stylish because you have these leather straps let me see if I can give you a full look of the bag it has these leather straps on it and also it has a really comfortable shoulder strap and it's well made very soft and cushiony so your shoulder is going to be very very well protected when you're carrying in the bag so these are my travel bags for our trip to Boston so we landed here in Boston on Monday and the weather was cold but beautiful and sunny so the first thing we did after checking into our hotel was we decided to take a walk in the north end of Boston. Now, those of you who know Boston, the north end is the Italian section of Boston, and it is one of my favorite places to visit in the downtown area of Boston. The north end is gorgeous. The waterfront is there. It is where all the ships come in and they go out. You can take a harbor cruise there, and it is just absolutely beautiful. The North End of Boston also has a lot of really delicious seafood restaurants and Italian restaurants, and it is just a beautiful section of Boston. So after walking around the North End for a little while, we decided to stop and have a glass of wine. And after having a wonderful dinner, we retired the evening with another stroll along the waterfront. I cannot explain to you ladies how beautiful the pier is in New England, but even at nighttime, the pier is lit up. You can see all of the private boats along the wharf and it is so stunning and so beautiful so before going back to our hotel we took a little stroll along the waterfront and it was absolutely beautiful now the next day here in boston we decided to walk around and tour some of the historical sites like the paul revere house we also walked along the Freedom Trail and just enjoyed a beautiful day around New England touring some of their historical sites. The next day we went to the Boston Public Gardens and I love the gardens here in New England and I cannot tell you how beautiful they are. My husband and I have gone to the Public Gardens every year when we have been, been here now in march it is not bloomed but usually in may and june in new england the public gardens are stunning the trees are incredible and the flowers are just amazing to look at so we toured the boston public gardens and then after walking around the gardens for several hours we decided to head to dinner and we went to dinner to ruth christ which was in this old historic building in New England that used to be the old city hall. But the restaurant was amazing and beautiful and the food was even better. The service was good. It was just an amazing evening. And so I really enjoyed going to the Ruth Chris here in Boston. I've never been to the one in Atlanta, but the one here was amazing. I even love just where they sat us in the restaurant because we had sort of a view looking out the window, which was also a little romantic as well. So the next day we did a little historical walking tour in the downtown area of Boston. Later that day, we joined um, my husband's sister and all of our family members were there from New England and 
We had just a beautiful time together. The food was great that my husband's sister made. We just enjoyed a lot of laughter and a lot of family time. So we hung out with the family for the rest of the evening before going back to our hotel and resting for the night. So the next day we got up, we went to the gym, believe it or not, my husband wanted to go to the gym. So we got up and went to the gym, worked out, and then we went to breakfast at this little place called Life Alive Organic Cafe. And we have been to this restaurant before, and I decided to get a shot of turmeric before enjoying my breakfast. So we had breakfast at Life Alive, and then after that, we decided to walk around the public gardens and the public gardens here in new england is absolutely beautiful they are stunning even in the sort of early spring like it is now here in new england just to walk around that area is really beautiful the air was crisp and clean if you're here in new england in may june and july which is the most beautiful weather time for here in new england at least in my opinion the trees will be bloomed the flowers will be at full bloom and it is absolutely beautiful so anywhere you're walking around the public gardens is going to be stunning and now we're on the current day so today we got up went back to the life alive organic cafe enjoyed some breakfast and i had a little time to sit down and film this video for you guys and as you can see i am in our hotel because this is not my normal background but i wanted to give a big thanks i know my husband does not watch my videos but he did a lot of the filming for me, which I'm really grateful for. So today we're planning on going to either the Museum of Fine Arts or either the Museum of History and Science. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I think tomorrow we're probably going to go to the Boston Public Library. I know the first time we were here, it was really amazing. They had a lot of the presidential papers in the library so i'm looking forward to reading through some of that stuff tomorrow and then later my husband has chosen the atlantic fish market for dinner so i'm looking forward to another beautiful day here in new england so that is all i wanted to share with you ladies today i hope you enjoyed watching this video Please stay tuned for all of my upcoming videos as I get back into Atlanta. I will have more videos upcoming for you on this channel. And again, if you're landing here for the first time and you enjoy leveling up and becoming more elegant and more graceful, please consider subscribing to this channel. And once you subscribe, please let me know in the comment section down below so that I can personally welcome you to this channel. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button as that tells me what type of videos you guys enjoy watching. Thanks for watching ladies and I'll see you in the next one.